we're ready to go ahead and get our water pump installed on our motor. Now here we have our nice new water pump and it's good to go. We have our new seal or o-ring and make sure that you lube that up before you put it on your pump and install it onto your block. We have our four fasteners to secure our pump to the block. We have our water pump pulley. We have our four fasteners for our water pump pulley. These are also a 10 millimeter. We have our ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket so we can get those secured and we'll be torquing these to spec by the way. We're also going to be installing our heater return tube as well and that's the one that comes from the back of the motor up to behind your water pump. So now what comes through the block behind your water pump that this connects to is this fitting here and actually Ford calls this funny enough a tube assembly and ours was really corroded so I went and picked up a new one. But how this works is it comes out the back of the block behind your, uh, behind your pump. And then this tube just goes over that. Now, when I went over to Ford, the part number of this replacement is F75Z-8555-AA. And I'll put a link to it down below so you can get to that. We also have our fasteners for our heater return tube here as well. And I hopped over to All Data, printed off our, our technical and specifications that we need to have to make sure we do the job right the first time. So let's jump over to the block. The first thing we're gonna do is get our new fitting installed. We'll get the water pump installed. And then last but not least, we're gonna get our heater return tube installed. And this job will be all done. Installation of our tube assembly is pretty easy. Now, all we do is just take it, start to slide it in there till we feel some resistance. We took a socket, in this case, a 16 millimeter and then we just take a hammer and tap that into place until the shoulder of our tube assembly is resting up against the block. Loop the water pump o-ring and slide it onto the pump until it's completely seated against the housing. Insert the water pump into the opening until it's completely seated against the block. Then install the four fasteners that secure the water pump to the block. Now don't tighten anything at this point, just snug them down till the head of the fastener touches the pump. We'll get into torque specs next. As you snug down the fasteners, make sure you do it in a star pattern so the pump stays straight in the housing. Our service manual gives us a range of 15 to 22 foot-pounds for these fasteners. Now we went right in the middle at 19 foot-pounds and we used a star pattern. So we went from top to bottom and then left to right. As always, we go through our sequence a second time to verify our settings. Now we begin to secure the water pump pulley. We do that by installing the four fasteners and then snugging them up until the head of the fastener touches the pulley. Normally I would reinstall the serpentine belt at this point before applying torque to the pulley bolts. Now because our motor is out of the truck we can't do that at this point so I just put on some gloves and I'm going to hold the pulley while my son tightens it down. Now our service manual gives us a range of 15 to 22 foot pounds for these fasteners. Once again we're going to go right in the middle at 19 foot pounds and we're going to tighten it using the star pattern. Next, I apply some lube to the O-rings on the tube assembly before attaching the heater return tube. Now I'll insert the heater return tube onto the tube assembly and then snug the fasteners that secure it to the back of the right hand head. Torque spec for the heater return tube studs is 30 foot-pounds. Make sure and join me in the next video of this series where we're going to be installing the oil pan with a new gasket. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.